Another InDesign quick tip by Fatfly Design. So let's say you've designed an InDesign file. Maybe it's a whole book and you need to send that InDesign file off to someone else to use. Maybe someone else is going to chip in and design some. Maybe they're going to output some film or plates from it. Whatever the case may be, this is a task that I used to do all the time as a graphic designer. So what I need to do is I need to package that file. And what I mean by package is it will collect all the placed images, it will collect all the fonts that I've used, it will create a folder and put all of the needed pieces to send along with that InDesign file. So it's a critical skill that you must know how to do. Now, before I package something, what you want to do is check for any errors. And in this case, I have a missing linked image. I've broken the link somehow. I've moved that file or renamed it. It shows me an error down here at the bottom. In my links panel, it's showing me this error. And if I were to try to package this right now, it's going to give me an error and tell me, hey, you know, if I package this file, it's going to be missing an important piece. So I need to fix that. So I'm going to go over here to my links panel, double click on this, navigate to where that image is, and relink it. And now that is fixed. So I don't have any errors. I've got two placed images. This is from Illustrator. This is from Photoshop. I've got some text here, which is Minion Pro Regular. And then I have some other text here. Oh, it's got a, a unique name here, but I've got a couple different fonts used. So by packaging, it will collect all of that into one folder for me. So let's go to File, Package, Command Option Shift P. Now, there are many different settings in here, and I'm not going to go through all of them in detail. I do see there's one warning here under Links and Images. It says I've got two linked files and none of them are missing or anything, but it notices that one of them uses RGB, and that's actually my image that I placed from Photoshop. Now, I can ignore this and go ahead and package it and send it off that way, but I think it'd be best to actually make that correction. So I'm going to go to Photoshop, I'm going to open this, and I'm going to convert this image mode CM, whoops, image mode CMYK, Okay, I'm going to save that, close that, and when I come back over here, it says, hey, you've modified that file. So I can double click on this, and it will just update that link. It now notices that it's CMYK, and now if I go to File, Package, I'm not receiving any errors, and my suggestion is always fix any errors that you have before you package it. Don't get lazy at this step. So now I can click on package and it's going to say you need to save this first. So let's save this. I haven't even saved that document yet. So let's get this saved. Okay. Now it's going to, I would turn all of these on. Okay. The main one we want are these fonts and linked graphics and stuff like that, but I usually turn them all on. It's also going to create a PDF file for me at the same time, and that's fine. So I'm going to click on Package. Now it is giving me a warning here saying, hey, you have to be careful about copying fonts like this and giving them to other people because some fonts have licenses and they're copyrighted and you're not supposed to share them. But as a graphic designer, if I'm sending this file off to be produced, I do have the right to send those fonts along. Whoever's working with it on the production end can install those fonts, use it for this job. They just have to uninstall it once they're done. So we'll just hit OK here. It will package that. And then let's go see what it created. So right over here is my folder that it created. And inside of that, there's a folder called document fonts. So these are all the fonts that um, you would need to install on your end. It gives me this INDD file. So it's a copy of my original InDesign file. It also gives me this IMDL file. That's fine. It created a PDF because I had that option checked. And it has all of my linked images. It packages them all into this very nice folder. You would then send that folder off to whoever's going to use that InDesign file next. Thanks for watching this InDesign quick tip. I hope it was helpful. If you like what you saw, please hit like and subscribe below. Also, if you get a chance, visit my website, 
at fatflydesign.com.